good afternoon everyone so beginning today's event uh, via a shimmer of poetry from the canvas such periwinkle to the holy rivers enchanted ripple into the benevolent, benevolent motherly lap where mortal creatures take a nap few moments of silence few slumbers of conscious sleep let the earth breathe and let the dreams beseech the silent symphony of gusty winds the merry monotony of morning hymns as euphoric birds welcome spring the melody show of nightingales subtle symphony of life prevails indeed the true essence of nature's beauty lies in the unspoken yet a soulful melody it casts over our senses yes sense and nature share a unique bond and to celebrate such a beautiful amalgamation what could be better than the auspicious day of basant panchmi a very happy basant panchmi to all and a warm welcome for this workshop on sensory gardens we have the blessings of professor balram pani dean of colleges university of delhi and our respected principal sir professor agnish mittal who will be joining us shortly to uh, to deliver his blessings Moving forward, we have Professor Iram Rao, Convener, Garden Committee, Bhaskaracharya College of Applied Sciences. Ma'am is also a teacher in charge, Department of Food Technology at our college. I request Ma'am to come forward and address us all. Iram Ma'am. Good morning and Namaskar. uh i wish to welcome each one of you particularly our esteemed and very distinguished seed man of india as he is called dr sudhakar rao and all our eminent guests over here i would also like to welcome all the participants as well as music club convener of music club dr shika shivastav for actually spearheading this particular webinar and so we really are looking forward to actually understand the connect between plants environment and our senses i think if we can understand the sensitivity between what nature has gifted particularly to a country like india i'm sure that today the challenges which environment has thrown in front of us because of the act of unwiseliness and insensitivity deeds of the human beings this would remake a remarkable change and i'm sure you would bring forward your wisdom and insight and really charge and ignite young minds today to make a difference to this world which will be a better one for tomorrow thank you and a very warm welcome to each one of you particularly our speakers thank you sir thank you so much ma'am It is a pleasure to state that we have with us our honorable resource person for today who certainly needs no introduction the seed man of india dr prabhakar rao to begin with the talk i request dr shekha ma'am convener of moksh the music club of bhaskaracharya college of applied sciences to come forward and introduce sir uh, thank you abhiman so uh, dr uh, prabhakar rao uh, needs no introduction just go and google and search so many talks and videos of him and for his formal introduction he has been a seed keeper for over 25 years collecting indigenous native vegetable seeds that are on the brink of extinction his travels have taken him to remote parts of the world where his interactions with the older generation of farmers has allowed him access to these forgotten varieties Returning to India in 2011 he conducted extensive testing of over 500 such varieties in his farm in Bangalore for genetic stability and environmental suitability he has now successfully stabilized around 140 rare indigenous vegetable varieties collected from both within the country and the abroad when while studying for his phd in agriculture a little over 30 years ago prabhakar rao instinctively knew that there was something a miss in what he was propagating he belonged to the generation of scientists from the lineage of dr norman borlog and dr ms swaminathan who created the green revolution 
and who pushed farmers to use hybrid seeds, fertilizers and pesticides for industrial agriculture. But deep inside, he was not sure if industrial agriculture was a sustainable model. He then changed his field of study to architecture and set up a practice in Dubai, specializing in landscape architecture for over 20 years. He designed several iconic projects all over the world, including the Palm Islands waterfronts in Kazan and several sustainable architectural projects in the Far East, Africa and Americas. He returned to India in 2011 and returned to his passion of saving seeds. Presently, he consults for several iconic projects in India, including the Central Vista redevelopment in Delhi, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel statue in Gujarat, Waterfront Township in Bhutan, Pune Riverfront Project, etc. As a trustee in the Agricultural Trust of the Art of Living, he now promotes sustainable, chemical-free natural farming technologies across the country. He especially trains farmers uh, go adharit farming and on climate resilient agriculture. He mentors youngsters on startups in, in the field of sustainable agriculture. So this, uh, this, uh, these are the some few points of his achievements. So now with this note, I would like to uh, welcome you, sir, on our college in virtual mode. So and now I request Abhiman. So before he start his presentation, so we'll move uh, with Saraswati Vandana on the occasion of Basant Panchmi and then. Sir, uh, I will request you to start your lecture. Abhiman? Thank you, ma'am. Before we commence today's talk, let us uh, know some rules that the participants should adhere during the lecture. It is requested to kindly keep your microphone off throughout the session. We request you to switch on your camera whenever asked if it is off. Do not unmute yourself to ask questions. Rather, prefer to post your query in the chat box. All queries will be taken up at the end of the session. Your cooperation is highly solicited for the smooth conduct of the event. Thank you for understanding. So before we begin today's lecture, let us seek the blessings of Goddess Saraswati through Saraswati Vandana. Malikam did 
पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तम परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा Now it is requested to sir to kindly grace the occasion with his much anticipated talk on sensory gardens. So good afternoon and uh, welcome everybody on this very auspicious day of uh, Basanta Panchami and what a beautiful kick start this is uh, with that lovely rendition of the Saraswati Japa and uh, I uh, am very honored to be in the august presence of Professor Balram Pani the dean of the colleges and uh, Avinish uh, Mittalji, Professor Avinish Mittalji, uh, the principal of the college. Uh, I thank uh, uh, Shika Srivatsava for giving me this opportunity. She has been in touch with me for a long time, and I know we have had this for a very long. Uh, uh, you know, we have been talking about this, so I'm very happy. Uh, Iram Rao, I am so happy that you are looking after the gardening and the horticulture in the campus. So it's always lovely to reach out to you. Uh, Abhiman, I must compliment you on that beautiful poem that you kick started with. Uh, it was very lovely. Thank you so much. And all the guests who are here, especially students. My main focus is you students because you are the harbingers of change. You are the people. Aap hi hai jo एक क्रांति ले आ सकते हैं हमारी लैंडस्केपिंग में अपनी गार्डन जो गार्डन्स uh, uh, बनाते हैं यू आर द पीपल हु कैन स्पीयर हेड दैट चेंज सो आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज वेरी शॉर्ट मैं काफी इंटरेक्टिव सेशन रखना चाहता हूं इसमें सो यू विल गेट लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू यू नो इंटरक्ट विथ मी माई प्रेजेंटेशन इट इज जस्ट टू किक स्टार्ट ए थिंकिंग प्रोसेस एक सोच आप में उगाना चाहता हूं कि क्या हम अपनी वाटिका अपनी जो गार्डन्स होते हैं उसको एक अलग सा नजर से देख सकते हैं क्या कैन वी हैव अ डिफरेंट व्यू पॉइंट टू हाउ वी परसीव प्लांट्स इन द गार्डन दैट विल बेसिकली बी दी फोकस ऑफ माई टॉक टूडे इट्स अ शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन सो आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरक्टिव सेशन विथ यू सो आई विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद स्लाइड शेयर एंड uh, i hope you are all able to uh, see this um, let me just move this yes let me get it to a yes um one second yes so we have to first of all understand yes sensory garden hota kya hai i mean what is sensory gardens and it is not your fault if you don't know this term sensory gardens because actually a concept hi kafi uh, novel hai kafi contemporary hai aur aajkal ye ek soch abhi iska ek uh, chal raha hai ek ek uh, there is a, a promotion of a certain thought process where people feel that engaging senses the five human senses by the plants in the garden is very important so it is a new field there is not much literature in it in the contemporary landscape architecture uh, literature if you see there is not much in this but our own traditions our own vedic traditions and our literature classical literature from india isme to bahut milega aapko because apne jo puranik aur vedic gardens jo the वो हमेशा दे वर डिजाइंड टू एंगेज फुल्ली द सेंसेस यू यू रीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वृक्ष आयुर्वेदा देर इज एन एंटायर चैप्टर देर देर आर ट्वेल्व चैप्टर इन वृक्ष आयुर्वेदा एंड वन चैप्टर इज प्योरली ऑन हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट लैंडस्केप्स 
and it is such a beautiful uh, uh, you know literature there is how what kind of plant should be put what direction planting should take place uh, high point kaha hona chahiye ek nadi kaha se behna chahiye aur water feature should be where how the level should be अरे हर चीज जो है जो आपको एक लैंडस्केपिंग लैंडस्केप आर्किटेक्चर टाइम सेवर स्टैंडर्ड्स में जो मिलेगा वो किताब में जो है यू विल फाइंड इट इन विक्स आयुर्वेदा विच वॉज विच प्रॉबली डेट्स बैक टू एटलीस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स है ना सुरपालस विक्स आयुर्वेदा इज सपोज टू बी लाइक यू नो टू थाउजेंड ईयर्स बट ही डेट्स बैक टू कृषि परासरा ही डेट्स बैक मच फर्दर ऑल द वे अप टू uh maybe 5000 years minimum it has been there in our culture if you see kalidasa's poetry there is so much about gardens which engage senses aapko bhagavatam mein milega aapko mahabharat mein milega you will find in uh, uh, ramayan uh, uh, king ravana he is supposed to be a great landscape architect i don't know how many people know that he was the design he was a great urban landscape architect and wo city of lanka ko aisa sajaya tha unhone plan karke ki it was one of the most finely designed uh, architectural urban spaces mana jata hai un dino mein however we are coming back to now sensory gardens and kyu sensory gardens you know because there is something that is changing in the tastes of people today aap dekh lijiye ki any field if you take even if you go to a cinema today aap dekhenge ki you will have cinema multiplexes where there is 7d experience wo seat bhi thoda hilega then kuch fragrance bhi aayega why because they want to convert a visual presentation into a multi sensory presentation surround sound you know then the vibrations kuch smell kuch ye sab jo hai something to something even they have certain uh, 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 disney worlds mein jahan there will be some sensations if you are in a pit of snakes you will suddenly find something you know <laughs> moving near your legs so ye ek experience ek anubhav jo hota hai that people remember more than the picture so even if you go today for example to let us say uh, ki aap uh, you go to uh, uh, you know things like uh, uh, tourism for example if you go for tourism you will find that people today talk about tourism in a completely different way you go to morocco they will teach you how to do dyes dyeing of cloth है ना तो हॉलिडे तो हुआ मरोका का साइट्स तो आपने देखे लेकिन उसकी जो एक अनुभव दैट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बीइंग इन मोरोको एंड डूइंग समथिंग व्हिच एंगेजेस योर फाइव सेंसेस दैट इज व्हाट यू विल रिमेंबर इफ यू गो टू मसाई मारा पीपल डोंट डू एनी मोर जस्ट गोइंग ऑन द सफारी टू सी दिस दे वांट टू हैव शैंपेन ब्रेकफास्ट विद अ हॉट एयर बलून है ना द एक्सपीरियंस इज व्हाट काउंट्स ऐसे ही जो है यू विल फाइंड एवरीवेयर टुडे experience is having a premium therefore now we have to see how do landscape how does landscape architecture give you that kind of an experience dekho today in landscape architecture ya gardening horticulture people are depending on other things like if they want sound they are putting wind chimes or they are putting a waterfall or they are putting a, a, a gurgling stream or something a fountain फुआरा लगा दिया तो उसका साउंड आवा सो दे आर एंगेजिंग साउंड थ्रू वॉटर और दे आर एंगेजिंग यू नो थिंग्स लाइक टच थ्रू हार्ड लैंडस्केप कुछ गमले बनाए विथ टेराकोटा और मार्बल और स्टोन ग्रेनाइट आपकी पेविंग्स आपकी सीटिंग्स दे आर गिविंग यू टच एक्सपीरियंसिस थ्रू दैट बट इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट सेंसरी गार्डन्स coming through plants this is where i want this presentation to make a difference for you i want you to think can we design gardens where the plants engage us engage all our five senses apne panchva indriya panchav indriya jo hai which are our sense organs which are our sense organs sight aankhe hai na then nose then taste then sound 
एंड देन टच अगर पौधों के द्वारा ये पांचों सेंसेस को एंगेज करेंगे हम एक बगीचे में एक वाटिका में देन दैट वाटिका विल हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल प्रीमियम है ना तो लॉट ऑफ बिल्डर्स टुडे यू नो लॉट ऑफ लैंडस्केप प्रोजेक्ट्स आर कमिंग अप है ना लॉट ऑफ बिल्डर्स आर वांटिंग टू गिव देयर क्लाइंट समथिंग न्यू तो क्या करते हैं दे गिव यू एक्सपीरियंसेस लाइक यू नो व्हाट वी कॉल दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस वेयर दे गिव यू सम रॉक गार्डन या टोपियरी बना दिया शर्बरी बना दिया है ना they'll give you some vertical gardens they will give you some zen gardens they will give you some water gardens to isi mein se jo hai kuch permutation combination bana ke they are giving you the designs right but what extra can a builder or a person who is creating a landscape design look at uski soch mein main aa raha hu and even if we look at for example the planting pallet अपना जो प्लांट का पैलेट है जो चॉइस है उसको भी आप देखें तो वो घिसा पिटा इट इज द सेम थिंग्स यू नो आपने नीरियम डाला टेकोमा डाला हाइबिस्कस डाला अलमंडा डाला आपने बाउहिनिया अकालीफा इसी में घूमता है यू नो वी हैव अ चॉइस ऑफ समथिंग एंड दिस इज अ विशियस साइकिल क्योंकि नर्सरी पीपल स्टॉक दिस सो द डिजाइनर्स विल प्रिस्क्राइब दिस क्योंकि ये प्रिस्क्राइब होता है इसका डिमांड बनता है नर्सरी वाले इसका डिमांड को मीट करते हैं तो इफ यू सी हाउ ए लैंडस्केप डिजाइन एंड आर्किटेक्चर कंसल्टेंट कंपनी वर्क्स दे डू ऑल द ब्यूटीफुल डिजाइन ऑफ द हार्डस्केप बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू प्लांटिंग पहले चीज जो है वी आर्किटेक्ट वी डोंट कम फ्रॉम अ बैकग्राउंड ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर वेर वी नो इन डिटेल प्लांट दिस फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम second problem is we always depend on the nursery person to help us populate are bhaiya idhar ye chhaya mein kya hogega bol do na ek teen char variety acha usko photo bhej dena then they will select something this is how actually in reality the planting design is actually done hai na but what if we went a little out of the box that is the point of today's presentation yeah so we will look at this so as i said ye to abhi chal raha hai but what if we have something different like i said you know in travel you know sensory experiences are becoming more and more you know you remember the experience not just the place that is what stays in your mind to maine ek research kiya tha i did a sort of a survey of what is the importance in the planting design given to the five senses है ना एंड आपको मोस्ट ऑफ दिस यू विल बी शॉक्ड एक्चुअली कि विजुअल इंपैक्ट के लिए वी गिव द मैक्सिमम इंपॉर्टेंस सो 90 परसेंट ऑल दो देर आर फाइव सेंसेस वन सेंस व्हिच इज साइट और आंखें आंखें में आंखें से जो देखते हैं हम दैट इज गिवन 90 परसेंट इंपॉर्टेंस फ्रेग्रेंस जो स्मेल होता है सुगंध होता है गार्डन में उसके लिए ओनली एट that means a designer a planting designer will deliberately look and put plants which have fragrance only 8% taste plant ka patte ka ya phool ka taste ya uska beej ka taste ya texture us pe kitne importance dete hain only 1.5% 1.5% we are giving it is the objective of a designer to include plants which contribute to taste टेक्सचर प्लांट की जो पत्ते हैं या फूल है उनकी टेक्सचर पे डिजाइन प्लांटिंग डिजाइन ओनली हाफ परसेंट एंड हियरिंग एंड साउंड के लिए आई कुड नॉट एक्चुअली फाइंड समबडी हु इज प्लान डूइंग अ प्लांटिंग डिजाइन फॉर साउंड दैट इज लाइक नेग्लेक्टेड सो इफ यू सी फाइव सेंसेस में only one sense is being catered in our planting design and all the other senses contribute to only 1/10th hai na 10 percent jo hai baki four senses ke liye ek senses ke liye 90 percent we can we balance this that is the objective of my presentation now jo main abhi reverse mein aaunga jahan 0 percent objective hai for design which is hearing i will start with that 
देखिए दीज आर ऑल वेरी वेरी कॉमन प्लांट्स है ना यू पीपल आर फ्रॉम डेली सो मेनी मेनी ऑफ दीज यू विल रिकोगनाइज इमीडिएटली है ना दिस एब्रूस प्रिकेटोरियस ये जो है ये एक वाइल्ड क्लाइंबर है एंड इनके बीच जो है इनके बीच से जो है बहुत बहुत सारी नेकलेसेस बनते हैं ये अपनी लंबानी लोग जो है इससे बहुत सारी नेकलेसेस बनाते हैं बट इट हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदर यूज आल्सो यू नो एवरी सीड विल हैव द सेम वेट सो इन द ओल्ड डेज गोल्ड स्मिथ्स जो सोने की व्यवहार में रहते हैं गोल्ड स्मिथ्स यूज टू यूज दिस एज वेट्स है ना वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट दैट सेकेंड इज इधर जो पॉट्स देख रहे हैं ये तो अमलतास की है ये अमलतास जो है दिल्ली में यू विल फाइंड टंस एंड टंस ऑफ अमलतास बट डू यू नो यू कैन यूज इट फॉर सॉन्ग इज ए क्वेश्चन देन दिस बैम्बू फाइलोस्टाकिस द फर्स्ट स्लाइड में मैंने जो दो पिक्चर्स बनाए थे दे आर बोथ माई ओन डिजाइन एक्चुअली लेट मी जस्ट गेट बैक टू दैट वेरी क्विकली these two gardens are actually in my design the one is in delhi actually it's one of the apartment buildings and uh, this one is in hyderabad it is a it's a podium level uh, sort of a you can call it a duple villa type of thingy where both of these are sensory gardens using plants available here yeah so if we go back here now uh, this bamboo i have used because this has a certain sound melaleuca bract uh, bractiata is one of the plants if you come near vijay chowk uh, you will find this plant uh, uh, planted along the heritage walls there near the fountains uh, and this acacia coracea is a very interesting plant ye bhi it's actually a wild species very easy to grow uh, iski pool bhi bahut sundar hote hai lekin i have chosen it for something very interesting because when the seeds burst it is like somebody shooting आवाज आता है बहुत ही दिलचस्प है सो लेट एस सी इफ वी कैन एक्चुअली प्ले दिस वीडियो दैट आई हैव वेर आई हैव यूज दीज फाइव प्लांट्स टू क्रिएट ए साउंड एक्सपीरियंस तो आप एक मुझे एक थम्स अप दे दीजिए इफ यू कैन हियर द साउंड इट विल स्टार्ट वेरी स्लोली एंड आई विल नाउ प्ले दिस वीडियो फॉर यू या could you hear that sound kitchen somebody say yes for me no yes sir yes oh, sir okay thank you thank you so let me start that again for you yeah thank you
so that was a very short video clip i made to make you understand ki sound ka bahut hi bada prabhav ho sakta hai apni experience pe agar aap koi horror movie dekh rahe hain agar bahut dar lag raha hai to bas sound off mute kar dijiye you will not get afraid it is sound which creates most of the impact of the movie we don't understand that we think it is the film but sound jo hai it creates the mood it creates your own emotions aapki reactions response jo hai it depends on sound so creating sound in a garden and these were just four plants that i took hai na biski bahut bada palette hai if you go to charaka samhita of charaka rishi you know charaka it is the he is the father of ayurveda charaka samhita is the bible for ayurveda लेकिन उसमें उन्होंने इतनी सारी प्लांट्स को लिस्ट किए हैं विच आर आवर प्लांट्स ये अपना परंपरा है दिस इज आवर कल्चर दिस इज आवर डीएनए दिस प्लांट्स बिलोंग टू अस है ना दीज स्पीशीज ही हैज डिस्क्राइब मेनी प्लांट्स विच हैव सूदिंग साउंड्स विच विल क्रिएट ए इम्पैक्ट फॉर ऑन आवर माइंड है ना तो इवन वृक्ष आयुर्वेद यू विल सी अ लिस्ट you will find many indigenous plants they have very wonderful properties to create a sensory experience through hearing hai na abhi aa jate hain touch pe because the, this was the next one only half percent objective tha as far as text were concerned lekin aap dekhiye aloe vera aloe vera to you are all familiar isko aap tod sakte hain iska juice aap dal sakte hain aapki skin pe इसको क्रश कर सकते हैं आप केस में इसको यू कैन एक्चुअली टेस्ट इट यू कैन ईट दैट पर्टिकुलर सैप ऑफ दैट अलोएवेरा इट इज मेडिसिनल एंड प्रॉपर्टीज बट उसकी जो सैप uh, है उसकी उससे जो जूस निकलता है वो आपकी स्किन पे डालने से इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मॉइस्चराइजिंग क्रीम्स इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर कट्स एंड वूम्स टू फॉर हीलिंग वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्लांट इसका टेक्सचर बहुत ही अति सुंदर है और उसके ऐसे ही तोड़ के जो है आप इसका अनुभव ले सकते हैं Stachys byzantina is a very beautiful plant. ये भी काफी wild plant है especially foothills में आपको तराय region में बहुत सारे मिलेंगे ये uh, and if you go to Uttarakhand and Himachal and all these areas, you will find valleys में ये बहुत ही hardy plant है It's a wonderful ground cover and children love it because इसका जो uh, नाम है ना it actually means uh, uh, goat's ear, है ना ये अपना बकरा का जो का दिस थिंग ईयर होता है उसका ये नाम है अपना लोकल लैंग्वेज गॉट ब्यूटिफुल टेक्सचर तो चिल्ड्रन लव दिस पेनिसिटम ग्रास एवरीबडी नोज भी इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन प्लांट बट व्हाई चिल्ड्रन लव दिस इज दे लव टू सीड्स यू नो हेलो इज देर एनी प्रॉब्लम okay so if you if the children love uh, holding that uh, you know that seed uh, uh, thing and pulling it and when they throw the seeds it's very good because that's how plants get dispersed hai na plantago major which i am showing here this is a very beautiful plant which is uh, which is actually from where our isab gold comes you know isab gold is a uh, indian plant which we use the seed for प्रोवाइडिंग रफेज अगर स्टमक डाइजेस्टिव प्रॉब्लम है तो इसको लेते हैं हम लोग इसब गोल तो ये इसब गोल का प्लांट है एंड इसका पत्ता जो है इट हेज पेपर टेक्सचर ऑफ क्रेप पेपर यू नो वी मेक रोजेज एंड फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल दैट डेकोरेशन विद क्रेप पेपर बिल्कुल वही टेक्स्चर रहता है इसका लीव का सो वेन यू एक्सपोज पीपल टू सच टेक्स्चर दे इंटरक्ट विद द प्लांट एंड दिस इज एन एक्सपीरियंस Calistomone, which is the bottle brush. Such me, a bottle brush, just see, it looks like a pool. And people love, you know, just to touch it, you know, to feel it. Then, apna ye jo, ah, uh, humne ye Mexican grass jo bolte hain, zoysia. Again, ye itna spongy hota hai. So, adding something like this creates a huge impact for the people who will be, ah. Uh, you know uh, using it especially children children love rolling on this grass uh, and chui mui for example the mimosa pudica i mean i always put this plant because a it is such a hardy plant second it flowers almost through the year it is impossible to kill this plant 
and people love it because they will come and the children they will show dekho dekho isko chuo and it will close its leaves so it becomes interactive so just using i've just shown here maybe around 6 7 plants but it gives you the potential apne paas to bahut bada palette hai where we can use plants to provide sensory experience of touch hai na so ek ho gaya sound then comes touch तो टच भी अगर आप एंगेज करेंगे पीपल हु आर कमिंग टू द गार्डन इफ दे स्टार्ट यूजिंग प्लांट्स टू टच एंड फील इट बिकम्स अ वंडरफुल गार्डन देन यू हैव द फ्रेग्रेंस यानी स्मेल यू नो और बिफोर दैट लेट मी कम टू द टेस्ट क्योंकि दैट वाज ओनली यू नो हार्डली गिवन एनी इंपॉर्टेंस है ना तो आपको सुन के यकीन नहीं होएगा कि वी हैव सो मेनी प्लांट्स विच कैन बी यूज इन आवर गार्डन विच वी कैन ईट है ना ये एलियम सिपा जो है ये तो अपना ऑनियन uh, है प्याज यू नो ऑनियन कैन बी यूज वेरी ब्यूटिफुली इन गार्डन बिकॉज इट्स वेरी हार्डी ये तो इतना हार्डी है एंड पीपल लव कटिंग टेकिंग लिटिल बिट ऑफ दैट लीव स्मेलिंग इट टेस्टिंग इट using it to make onion soup french onion soup they love it hai na so it's a beautiful thing to have in your garden plus most importantly it will keep insects away the uh, harmful insects away mosquitoes aur ye sab jo hai onion ki bed mein nahi aate hai hai na even the dangerous fruit flies and all that they don't like onion uh, smell they'll go away hai na bacopa moneri bacopa is brahmi it can be used as a lovely ground cover aap lawn 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 bolte hain selection one bermuda lawn selection one bermuda lawn why we have got a such a beautiful plant called brahmi it's a beautiful ground cover and the best part is you can eat this leaves jab hum chote the to dadi ma jo hai she used to put every day in her grandchildren mouth to to leaves says you will get become very brainy if you do this it's a very very important ayurvedic plant and you can eat these leaves every day you can have two two leaves it is so good for your health hai na paan ka patta do you know especially in shaded areas in the gardens even in delhi paan ka patta will grow very very well if there is enough water it is a wonderful plant to go and who doesn't like to taste paan hai na and especially if it is growing in your own house fir to i mean it is something else na then you have got this trapeolium which is actually earlier called nasturtium but trapeolium is the correct scientific name this is the wild nasturtium aapko ye bhi jo hai wild mein bahut milenge especially aap tarai area mein chale jaiye uh, towards uh, foothills nainital wagaira in that area i remember when i used when i was doing my masters in pantnagar in the gb pant university uh, this used to grow like wild weeds you know khet ke agal bagal mein ye aise hi ugte the do you know it's a great लैंडस्केप प्लांट बिकॉज ए इट्स पेरेनियल टू फूल तो इसमें हमेशा रहता है चाहे विंटर हो समर हो इसमें फूल होता है एंड थ्री द लीफ इज एडिबल आप सैलड में लगाइए इसको इसका स्टर फ्राई कीजिए या रॉ ऐसी खा लीजिए आप दो पत्ता तोड़ के इट इज वंडरफुल है ना सो दैट अनदर विद एन स्पिलर प्लांट विच इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन and this is called the toothache plant aap usko aap aapki jeep pe laga denge na on your tongue then you will find that it will give like a battery a little like a zrr karke thoda battery ko aap touch karenge to aisa ek thoda electricity aata hai matlab jo jo jahan jahan dimag thi wo thoda hatta di the furniture ab bacha hi nahi even jo laboratory the jahan apne laga rakha tha wo bhi hatta diya someone has got unmuted please mute yourself okay sir so this toothache plant is a wonderful plant because people love it hai na and if you put it in your mouth bahut saliva nikalta hai and one of the michelin star chefs he made a sherbat you know out of this a sorbet jo bolte hain sorbet which is used to cleanse the palate between courses of meals and he got the michelin star award for that a beautiful plant to grow and children love it because they will trick their friends isko thoda muh mein dalo dekho kya hota hai and it's a great experience centella asiatica another gorgeous plant in wet 
shady conditions is a fantastic plant it is called jalabrami again these are all plants which are our heritage ye apna parampara hai ye apni culture ko belong karta hai ye region ko belong karta hai and they grow very very effortlessly hai na jalabrami is again a great plant which you can eat menta peperita this is the spearmint hai na spearmint is again an indigenous plant and it is not pudina it is spearmint it is a lovely lovely flavor again very good for keeping insects away oxalis the uh, the red oxalis na corniculata oxalis corniculata beautiful plant you know it is perennial it has lovely yellow flowers it has this beautiful uh, rust colored leaves fantastic plant upar se aap isko kha bhi sakte hain hai na now let us come to smell स्मेल में अभी आजकल क्या होता है कि वी हैव सम स्टैंडर्ड प्लांट रजनीगंधा देन चंपा देन चमेली यू नो एंड मोगरा सो दीज आर दी कॉमन वंस वी यूज बट देन वी हैव अज रेपटवा एक इतना बड़ा पैलेट है इंडिया में जो स्मेल और फ्रेग्रेंस के लिए बहुत ही फैंटेस्टिक uh, uh, इसका काम आ सकता है ये बुई जो है दिस इज बुडलिया एशियाटिका इट इज अ क्रीपर इट्स अ श्रब क्रीपर वेरी वेरी हेवी फ्लावरिंग एंड इसकी फ्रेग्रेंस जो है यू विल सिंपली लव इट अभी भी जो है थोड़ा जंगल में चला जाते हैं फुट हिल्स में तो यू विल फाइंड दिस स्पेशली एट दिस टाइम ऑफ द ईयर वेन दी समर इज सेटिंग इन यू विल फाइंड दिस बुडलिया स्टार्टिंग टू फ्लावर एंड इट विल हैव सच ग्रेस नो फ्रेग्रेंस तो देन दिस जिंजर टॉप जो हम बोलते हैं ना हाइडिचियम कोरोनारियम इट इज अनदर ब्यूटीफुल प्लांट इट वेरी वेरी हार्डी प्लांट चाहे समर हो विंटर हो इन शेडेड एरियाज ब्यूटीफुल प्लांट कोलियोस दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल द बड़ा पत्र एंड दिस वन हैज अ दिस अजवेन व्हाट वी कॉल ना इट हैज गॉट दैट फ्रेग्रेंस then uh, this one is not datura it's actually burgmansia and today you will find lot of burgmansia in wild actually in estates and all that they use it as a hedge beautiful plant lovely fragrance it has so many beautiful fragrance like nimbu ginger sabhi fragrance isme milte hain then mirabilis it is called the four o'clock plant because sham ko 4 baje iska phool khilta hai and it comes in beautiful colors lovely fragrance and you know it you all these plants are so common a few uh, decades ago ek 20 30 uh, saal pehle it was wild it used to be growing everywhere lekin abhi milta hi nahi hai kananga odorata i mean this is a great one of the greatest plants in our descriptors like vriksha ayurveda or charaka samadhi you will find tremendous it is used uh, the fragrance that is uh, got from this is called ylang ylang in france and we pay heavy amount to buy perfume called ylang ylang but in our country this grows wild itna khubsurat uh, fragrance hai isme it is just wonderful pandanus you know it has got beautiful fragrance and of course our parijat parijat is an extraordinary plant i mean it is a very auspicious plant very sacred plant and the beauty is morning aap iske paas aa jaiye to pure iske phool jo hai biche rahenge ground pe it will all be on the ground all the flowers with these beautiful orange stalks and white petals would have fallen on the ground and the fragrance is just fantastic so you can have such a beautiful experience of smell using such plants then of course for sight i mean of course we use plants for sight but i want to take you a little away on our plants which are in our ayurveda descriptors of charaka samiti these are our plants which have not only beautiful look but they have fantastic value as well you know the shatavari for example is the asparagus it this is our wild asparagus iski phool bhi bahut sundar rehte hain iska phal bhi bahut sundar rehta hai and it has got extreme medicinal properties shatavari matsyakshi now this alternantara is the beautiful alternantara which can be used as a ground cover fabulous ground cover very hardy and iski jo patte hain isse isko boil karte hain aur is isko isko boil karte hain koi bhi oil mein like coconut oil mein isko boil kar diya to ek wonderful hair oil ban jata hai iska i mean it's one of the best uh, uh, hair oils that you can make 
then Ishwara Bali. Ishwara Bali is an extraordinary plant. It's the Aristolochia. It's a lata. Hai. It's a creeper. And it has got these huge baskets. ये बहुत बड़ा साइज है इतना साइज होता है इसका जो बास्केट होता है सीड बास्केट इतना बड़ा होता है इट्स ब्यूटीफुल आई मीन इट व्हेन व्हेन यू लुक एट द फ्लावर एंड द सीड बास्केट ऑफ दिस ना इट विल कैप्चर योर आई देन वी हैव गॉट द अपरिचिता व्हिच इज द क्लिटोरिया ट्रनाटा एंड दिस ट्रनाटिया एक्चुअली एंड दिस इज द फेमस ब्लू टी इसका फूल जो है सुखे हुए या ताजा फ्रेश और ड्राइड इफ यू पुट इन बॉइलिंग वॉटर यू गेट दिस लवली स्काई ब्लू कलर टी एंड इफ यू पुट टू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ लेमन इट विल बिकम पिंक है ना इट्स लाइक व्हाट यू कॉल इट दिस इंडिकेटर यू नो जब हम टाइट्रेशन करते थे ना केमिस्ट्री लैब में सो यू गॉट ब्लू एंड पिंक एंड उसके बीच में एक कलर आता है तो यू नो इट इज न्यूट्रल इट इज लाइक दैट इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल फ्लावर विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दैट इज वाई द टी इफ यू गो टू बैंड्रा कैफे इन मुंबई इट इज चार्ज यू फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर अ कप ऑफ दिस टी विच यू कैन मेक एट होम फ्रॉम द वाइल्ड दिस ग्रोज वाइल्ड इन इंडिया है ना सो दिस प्लांट अगेन यू नो इट हैज एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट एंटी एजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज तो द किम कार्डासन एंड शाहरुख खान एंड ऑल दे ड्रिंक दिस तो अभी इसका बहुत डिमांड हो गया है देन यू हैव गॉट सर्पगंधा विच इज द रोल्फिया and this is a plant which is used uh, for uh, many things snake bites for example you know uh, and uh, very beautiful flowers very great uh, plant to use in landscape woodfordia which is called the dhataki dhataki is another fantastic plant to use in our landscapes and all these plants i am telling you they like a uh, rolfia that is sarpagandha dhataki then uh, our clitoria Uh, that is aparchita these are all wonderful plants for attracting pollinators isko lagaye to bhavre titliya they flowers bees butterflies they will be attracted like anything then you've got this mansevi mansevi means deer ear you know uh, ye jo mrig hota hai uska jo ear hota hai ye shape mansevi is another very beautiful uh, uh, crassula species actually it is one of the uh, uh, succulent species so these are all native species so apne uh, uh, you know we can grow this uh, very beautifully but the fragrance of these flowers are wonderful similarly like we have got trivrit which is the operculina which has got these wood rose kind of uh, flowers again very beautiful so these are all plants which are native यानी ये अपनी देसी वैरायटीज है जो बगीचे में बहुत ही शानदार तरीके से हम एक लुक एक अलग लुक ले आ सकते हैं है ना अभी और थोड़ा सा दिखाता हूं एंड वी हैव गॉट मोर प्लांट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वसाका वसाका इज जस्टिशिया अड़तोड़ा अड़तोड़ा एक्चुअली इन साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेज कॉल कनडा अड़तोड़ा एक्चुअली मीन्स आड़ तोटा गिड़ा दैट मीन्स इवन अ काउ और शीप विल नॉट ईट दिस and so it is a fantastic plant for using where there is lot of animal damage hum kahin plant nahi kar sakte hain kyunki gaay aayega bakra aayega usko kha lega nahi isko to aap laga sakte hain kuch nahi khayega isko aur iski jo flowers hai na the flowers if you look closely it looks like a laughing lion very beautiful hai na plus it is a ayurvedic plant artoda vasaka is a very beautiful ayurvedic plant then you got agni sakshi that is a gloriosa creeper again a wild plant if you go to the jungles this will be growing as a creeper and agni sakshi kyu iski look dekh ke aapko pata chalega iska naam agni sakshi kyu hai because it looks like flames what a beautiful plant to plant in our sensory gardens again we have got something called kushnanashini which is a very interesting plant called sorelia and sorelia became very famous in the past 5 years because somebody in france said that it prevents hair fall and regenerates hair so it became a very interesting plant but our text 5000 years ago we knew the property of this plant hai na then we got krishna kamal which is a species of our passion fruit very beautiful plant again iski phool itni sundar hai then hemidismus indica which is called the indian sarpasila ye aapko actually wild weed bol ke isko nikal dete hain hum log but it is such a beautiful plant brihati which is the solanum indicum why we have to struggle to grow flowering plants in delhi isko daliye aap isme phool jo hai peak summer mein jab aapka temperature 48 degree pahunch jata hai isko kuch nahi hota hai 
Then we've got Drona Pushpi, which is the Lucas, which is again a fantastic plant to have in beds. Isko na bakra khayega, na gai khayega isko. Costus, which is our Chemuca, isko insulin plant bolte hain. Jisko bhi diabetes hai, iska do patta roz khali jiye, aapka diabetes gaya. Uh, it is a plant that has been described in our text 5000 years ago. And so the point of this uh, talk basically, and I think I am good on time, is that we focus to revive our indigenous species, which can engage all the five senses. And these two pictures are just to give you an idea of how beautiful you can make the design of planting by using our own plants जो अपनी परंपरा जो अपनी कल्चर को बिलोंग करता है जो अपना देश को बिलोंग करता है जो बहुत ही हार्डी है आप चाहे ट्राई भी करें तो इसको मार न, मा, मा, मार नहीं सकते हैं यू कैंट किल दीज प्लांट दे आर सो हार्डी व्हाई डोंट वी यूज दीज इन आवर गार्डन सो आई विल स्टॉप विद दिस स्क्रीन शेयर नाउ लेट मी जस्ट गो बैक हियर स्टॉप स्क्रीन शेयर हाउ डू आई डू दैट हैव आई स्टॉप माय स्क्रीन शेयर Osma, or was my screen share on all this time? It was. Could you see my uh, slides up to now? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. okay. So I will pause my presentation here, and I invite you to ask me any questions regarding what I have presented. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, sir. That was indeed a fruitful experience for all of us, especially the part where we got to witness uh, the the sound of uh, those uh, plants and we got to witness the sensory gardens virtually at our homes. So moving forward, I would now like to invite the faculties present with us. If you have any questions, you can simply uh, unmute. Uh, before that, uh, you have to you should raise your hands and. Dr. Swati is requested to take up the questions. So those who have raised their hands, so we can unmute and they can interact directly. Mom, can I please ask something? Yes, Julie. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for such a wonderful talk. It was really impressive. And the whole time I was just so mesmerized by the whole uh, talk. It was absolutely very beautiful. So I want to ask you one thing that uh, the place where I live uh, uh, with my room, there's a small balcony attached to that. But the plants that you were talking about, mostly they, you know, they need a lot of space. But I do not have that much space. So, is there any suggestion that you would like to uh, shed some light? That what are the plants that I can go for for my balcony, which is like absolutely small? So we have many many plants, even in the list that I showed you, which are very ideal for the balcony. First of all, you have to decide whether your balcony has more shade or more sun. If it has more sun, plants like Adathoda. Plants like uh, our uh, uh, Woodfordia, all these, you know, can grow very beautifully. If you do have shade, all your Brahmi, Matsyakshi, Jala Brahmi, all these plants, you know, can grow. In fact, from for every sense, you can have five pots on your in your balcony for five senses. Itna to balcony ke liye bhi hamare paas bahut bada palette hai. So it is not that these plants are all necessary only to grow in large gardens, not at all. In fact, the two uh, gardens that I showed you the design of, they are actually very small spaces. But actually it's a very small space. Yeah. So you can have five pots with five sensory plants, very easy even in a balcony. Yeah. Okay, okay. thank you so much, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Swati. Uh, Dr. Rao, I am delighted to hear your lecture. It's so informative and uh, even so many people, including me, doesn't know about this. Uh, there's a, there is a question from uh, Madhu Reddy 
that I have heard gly uh, glycidia pods also burst in April once the seed matures. So uh, is this correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Glycidia is a great plant and it will also explode. And <laughs> I have I, uh, one of these days I will capture that in the video as well. But you're spot on and it's, it's, it's very interesting because children are fascinated. They'll sit for hours under the tree waiting for it to and just as the season changes now abhi now you get the uh, winter changing into the that's when the uh, pods will start to uh, form and i have seen children actually sitting hours together especially in the uh, in the villages they will sit hours together just to hear and the moment it explodes they'll all go you know very excitedly they'll keep jumping around because they heard a gunshot kind of a thingy very interesting bindi you know actually uh, okra the bindi uh, plant you know if you allow it to uh, dry on the plant in the evening time when the sun is setting it will burst and its seeds will get thrown maybe even up to 5 meter distance wo phenkta hai as a phatke you will hear some sound suddenly in the garden you will wonder what is this kata 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 going on it's actually a bindi plant throwing its seeds very interesting i would like to request the participants if there are any other questions ma'am hello Hello, yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, sir, it, it was a very wonderful talk. Uh, I want to, uh, I have started by uh, terrace gardening for the organic farming, but uh, later on I have shifted towards this uh, flowering plants also. So I was having uh, two, two, three beetle vines uh, with uh, me, but during this winter it uh, all uh, finished. Uh, so can uh, those vines can be kept in winter also or we have to purchase every year for in summer also, summer only ha sir um, uh, devendra sahab iska aisa hai ki winter mein hum maximum for around 1.5 mahine ke liye when it gets really cold hum log kya karte hain ki iski jo stem hota hai wo lata jo hota hai us se patte nikal ke usko gol sa uh, कॉम्पैक्ट uh, करके वो सॉयल में डक्के बी बेरीड स्लाइटली इन द सॉयल एंड पुट मल्च यानी ड्राइड लीव्स वगैरह उसके ऊपर बिछा देते हैं द प्लांट विल नॉट डाई तो इसका यही है कि द यू जस्ट यू नो ट्विस्ट द स्टेम इनटू राउंड सर्कल्स कीप इट डाउन पुट लिटिल सॉयल ओवर इट एंड देन कवर इट विथ ड्राइड लीव्स मल्चिंग ड्राइड लीव न्यूज पेपर कार्डबोर्ड कुछ भी आप उसको डाल के रख दीजिए द मोमेंट द टेम्परेचर अभी आफ्टर यू नो मार्च द टेम्परेचर स्टार्ट कमिंग अप अगेन यू नो यू कैन कट इट एंड स्टार्ट टू ट्रेन इट थ्रू आउट टिल नेक्स्ट विंटर आपको बहुत ही सुंदर वो उसका ग्रोथ रहेगा एंड यू कैन हार्वेस्ट दी पान लीव ऑल्सो बट इट डजन डाई एक्चुअली कैन प्रोटेक्ट ओके ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू Uh, can okay. I please ask one more question again? <clears throat> Absolutely, ma'am. Ah, uh, sir, I want to ask you this thing that uh, I really love that nectanthus plant that you've mentioned. Ah, uh, so is there a way to pot it uh, to plant this plant in a pot? And if so, what is the season for that? Because I've tried googling it a lot, but nobody has mentioned the month when we should be planting its. we should be planting its cutting or something in a pot in delhi yeah. so the thumb rule for any propagation is to start it in the month of august you know so always because that that time what happens there will be high humidity temperature will not be that hot like in april may and once the uh, once the plants start to shoot by around september if you start in august august september mein jo hai uska rooting aur shooting shuru ho jata hai to you can plant it in a pot and then it will survive very good to the wrong time for doing anything will be now agar abhi aap cuttings lagayenge to it will be a big problem because they will not be able to tide over the april may period april may june mein they will suffer 
बेस्ट इज टू स्टार्ट आफ्टर द रेंज जुलाई में रेंज शुरू खरीफ का रेंज आ जाता है तो अगस्त में इट इज अ ग्रेट टाइम बिकॉज ह्यूमिडिटी बहुत रहता है उस टाइम में एंड ह्यूमिडिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर प्रोपोगेशन सर देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम निधि गुप्ता फ्रॉम वेयर कैन वी गेट दीज प्लान It's a very good question. I was hoping somebody will ask it. So, because you are regular nurseries, me, jayenge, so ye nahi milega aapko. Most of these plants you will not get. The place to go is the Ayurvedic colleges or Ayurvedic nurseries. All these plants you will get in the Ayurvedic colleges. You go to the Ayurvedic college botanical garden, you will get it. You go to Ayurveda nurseries, you will get it. So they are specialized nurseries which propagate plants only medicinal plants. and most of our plants and most of the plants that i have listed in sensory gardens these all belong to the ayurveda tradition so i then you can get from simap simap is the central institute of aromatic plants government of institu uh, india institution aap simap se le sakte hain plants ko you will find lot of plants citronella for example uh, lemon grass then you have got the palma rosa for example another grass all these are wonderful plants to use in the landscape इतने अच्छे प्लांट्स है दे कीप इंसेक्ट्स अवे एंड प्लस द एसेंशियल ऑयल फ्रॉम दैट इज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल इट्स गॉट लवली फ्रेगरेंस यू नो सो यू सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोमेटिक प्लांट सीमैप सीमैप हैज गॉट मेनी सेंटर्स अक्रॉस इंडिया यू कैन गूगल एंड चेक या देन यू विल फाइंड आयुर्वेद कॉलेजेस एंड देन यू विल आल्सो फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ pharmaceutical industries like you have dabar or patanjali or this it is very surprising they will sell plants because they give it to farmers for growing so these are the places you should go but actually you know once you start making the network of people you will find there are a lot of people who are doing this kind of gardens i mean in their own small way to ek network bana lena and you start posting कि ये इधर मिल रहा है वो इधर मिल रहा है वेरी सुन यू हैव अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट कम्युनिटी ऑफ सेंसरी गार्डन लवर्स यू नो दैट्स अ वे टू गो अबाउट इट सर अनदर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम यश मकर इज देयर अ गुड स्कोप ऑफ परस्यूइंग करियर ऑफ बीइंग अ लैंडस्केपर इवन दो वन कांट बिकम एन आर्किटेक्ट just by being a landscaper designer and not by landscape architect yeah so i'll just share one of the my stories and i'll tell you what is the potential for this you know uh, uh, for the central vista project i am the uh, landscape and the horticulture consultant for this project and the main main architect for this project consultant for this project is hcp yeah hcp from ahmedabad bimal patel he his it is his company you know hcp has been trying to recruit a landscape specialist for to just monitor their projects you know it's so difficult to get one for 6 months we were searching because anybody who is little got little good knowledge they are doing their own own business unka khud ka company hai why will they want to leave their own company and come and join a firm because actually dekha jaye to people are looking for somebody who can design gardens for them not somebody who who is a mali or who is a nursery man jisko plants propagation pata hai unko nahi they want somebody who can actually design a garden so landscape designing is a wonderful career to follow it will be very good if you have knowledge of architecture but it is not essential hai na you can you can you can subcontract the design as a hardscape design you can freelance it from an architect and take it but you can be the specialist for the softscape and the plantation and all other features and things like that so i think it has got a tremendous scope in india bahut logon ko acha ek landscaper nahi milte you very difficult to find a good landscape designer today in the market very difficult trust me Sir, there's another query by Julie, ma'am. That can you please share your presentation, sir? That will be very helpful for me to remember all these plants. Surely, I will send it across to Shika. 
and uh, you know most most welcome i mean i am open source in fact if any one of you has a big project where you think you want to design it on a sensory experience you know you reach out to me i am here to mentor you you know uh, because i think youngsters should know these things you know and youngsters should learn these things so i am here i can mentor you so my knowledge is for you okay so it's not proprietary i am most happy to share it with you uh, thank you so much sir and there's another important question which most of the students would like to know after you discussed about the uh, landscape architecture and landscape designer that are there any courses uh, uh, like any short term courses or any courses and from where can we uh, pursue it yeah. So basically there are two things. I mean, like when I did my landscape architecture in Baton Rouge in Louisiana in the United States, those days hardly any universities offered landscape architecture as a full fledged course. You know, you, you always used to do bachelors in architecture and you will do masters in urban design or masters in uh, landscape or something like that. You know, it always always used to be an added. So very few universities actually had that. Today it is not like that. In your Delhi University itself, there are so many courses that are offered in landscape design, landscape uh, horticulture. So, so many things are there. So today, uh, if you actually Google, you will find many, many opportunities where there are courses which are like three months, courses for six months, courses for one year, where you can go and learn landscape design. Yeah, so many agriculture universities today have started to offer these courses as well. So it just needs. I know, for example, that many, many people across uh, today, a lot of uh, youngsters come to me because they want to uh, be mentored uh, by me for landscape, but they, they have studied landscape somewhere. You know, it may be a small institution, but they have learned quite a bit, you know. So today it is not so difficult to find courses. And you will find courses ranging from three months to two years. Uh, courses are there which uh, universities are offering. Your Delhi University itself, Kurukshetra uh, University also, for example, they all offer you know courses which is not landscape architecture. Architecture means you have to have architectural background. Like I studied architecture in my five years study, maybe three years plus was all architecture only. But that makes you a very powerful architect, you know, but design is something that is inside you. You don't have to have a degree to be a designer. Bhagwan ne jab aapko shishti kiya, to design here is a input. It's a default parameter in you. Whether you know it or not, every one of us are designers. So design is something you can cultivate. And you don't need a degree for that. And today, actually, in landscaping, people don't really care whether you're an architect or not. They want well-designed gardens. And I think that is where, you know, there's a big niche market. Uh, so, uh, this, sir, sir, as you uh, just said, that uh, some students come to you for, the, uh, for to be mentored. Nothing, you are not audible. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, sir, uh, I said that as you said, uh, some students come to you for to be mentored. So is there some sort of uh, internship or some sort of procedure like you follow to pick up the students or like they can just uh, contact you directly? So what used to happen pre COVID actually people used to come. So I used to mentor them in uh, natural farming, seed saving, indigenous plants and landscape design. So they used to actually come and physically intern with me. But that has now stopped because of COVID uh, that has stopped. And what I realized was actually online you could do a lot. Yeah. So what happens is that I do a very one to one type of mentoring, so I don't take on too many people, uh, but I do uh, mentorship. So um, uh, uh, Shika has my uh, you know email coordinates, so I you can always reach out to her, and uh, you know she will uh, share that with you. But uh, you know somebody who is really really keen to take this up as a career path, you know. Uh, you're welcome to reach out to me and we I'm, I'm trying to work out ways 
I'm not trying to. I'm already doing it. But you know, I'm still fine tuning effective ways of doing mentorship online. Yeah. So it's something that is happening quite organically at the moment uh, because my main. Uh, I mean, except for these very big projects, which I can't say no to because somebody calls you and say that come I, I, we want to onboard you for the Kashi Vishwanath temple corridor. I can't say no to that. That's why I take it up. But my actually focus is not so much on landscape architecture. My focus is on indigenous plants, you know, plants which belong to our culture, our parampara, whether it's vegetables or whether it is plants which you use in the garden, you know, creating awareness for this and getting more and more people to move away from this imported uh, exotics, which we struggle, you know, uh, how much of pesticide you have to spray, how much of fertilizer you have to give. Are ek adathoda vasaka ko aap daliye, to it doesn't ask for even water. Apne aap bukta hai, it will take care, nature takes care of it and it still looks so beautiful, it's flowering throughout the year. You know, why should we not use that plant instead of trying to struggle with something which has come from some other country and, you know, propagated by the Britishers and, you know, we are saying, oh, wonderful plant. And itna effort dalte hain, hum usko bacha ke rakhne ke liye. You know, so I don't think it is necessary. You know, so I think it's my, my passion is more to create awareness so that more and more people know this can be done. And thank you so much, sir. And uh, there is a question from Nikita and which I uh, I'm sure other uh, participants wanted to know that uh, whether we will be sharing the recording. Yes, we all will. We will be sharing the recording with all of you as well as the email ID of the sir. So no worries about that. Are there any other uh, questions? Uh, I think there's no other question, sir. So uh, it is such a delightful talk. Uh, Abhiman, over to you. Thank you, sir. So now I would like to uh, request Dr. Swati to kindly deliver the vote of thanks. Ma'am, please. Thank you, Abhiman. Thank you for uh, giving me a chance for the official vote of thanks. Uh, so good afternoon and greetings to everyone present here and on behalf of our garden committee and music society Moksha, I would like to thank Dr. Prabhakar Rao for delivering such a informative uh, lecture on sensory gardens and it, it is it is done such a uh, that at right from the ground level that everyone whether they have any prior knowledge of any plants or not they all would have loved it. So indeed, it was very interesting lecture and the knowledge gained here will be very useful in establishing you know, sensory garden at our old college, at our homes and everywhere. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to thank uh, Professor Baladam Pani, Dean of Colleges and our acting principal, Professor Avni Schmittel for uh, blessing us and for the giving us a chance for organizing such a nice talk. I would also like to thank our uh, teacher in charge uh, of botany department, who is the uh, one of the senior most faculties of our college and for his overall en encouragement and support. I would also like to thank garden committee convener, Professor Iram Rao and music uh, music club convener, Dr. Shikha for organizing the event, which is very useful for a wide range of audience. Last but not the least, uh, I would like to thank all the faculty members and student coordinators uh, for such an organized way uh, in which the event was conducted. And thanks everyone, all the participants students and faculty members for making this event such lively with your gracious perform uh, presence. Thank you so much. Swati, uh, please uh, announce and, feedback. Uh, certificate. Uh, feedback link will be. Uh, feedback link will be given to you. Uh, and the certificate uh, will be after you submit the feedback link certificate will be given to you in one or two days. 
uh, over to you shikha ma'am so uh, thank you so much sir for joining and then uh, if you uh, could please uh, stop sharing so uh, we have to explain about the protocol of the feedback form sir please uh, i would also like to uh, suggest the participants to take the uh, snapshot of the protocol so that it will be easier for them to fill the feedback form and uh, get the certificates the participants are requested to fill the feedback form in order to obtain the participation certificate here are the steps that you have to follow you will have to open the mail which was received uh, at the time uh, when you registered for the event and the mail must be containing uh, an event pass code which you have to uh, copy and then you have to scroll down to the link section and there you will find a link titled events updates and feedback click on that link a uh, the, uh, the 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 feedback uh, window on beams will open uh, you'll have to select the Uh, event sensory gardens workshop and there you'll have to fill the event pass code wherever asked and you'll have to provide your feedback and submit thank you and we'll be generating certificates in one or two days so keep on checking your mail uh, to fill the feedback form so um, may i now request everyone to open their switch on their video we can have a so please switch on your video so we'll have a good photograph browser ma'am browser may i request you to please switch on your video yes i have switched on my video I, my video is on uh, but i am not spotting to see you so we can I'm, see him okay okay so abhiman take a group photograph just a minute ma'am thank you all the photo photograph is taken thank you so much everyone thank you sir so much thank you so much uh, participants rao sir uh, iram ma'am and everyone every faculty member thank you so much geeta ma'am thank you so much bye bye